That will do it for nine. Kick on nine with the ten starts right now. Now at ten, a wild pursuit from Long Beach to LA's west side. The driver bails and confronts a woman walking her dog. A wrecked sheriff's helicopter still sits on the edge of a cliff. Investigators are looking for clues. What caused this crash that injured six people? And a stunt totals a Tesla after it goes airborne on one of LA's steepest streets. Tonight, there's an award for any information leading to an arrest. And good Sunday evening, everyone. I'm Chris Holmstrom. I'm Leslie Money, and our top story here on KCAL 9 News at 10 and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. We do begin with breaking news. This high-speed chase involving a stolen SUV has just ended in the West San Fernando Valley. The whole thing unfolding right here on KCAL 9. Yeah, but it took two tires of the speeding Escalade to actually fall off. You can see that right there. That's when the female driver finally decided to give up on the 405 southbound. The chase started La Fuente and ended in North Hills. Thankfully, no one was hurt. And just before 8 tonight, another pursuit on LA's west side. Sky 9 was overhead when the suspect drove into a cul-de-sac and took off on foot. Yeah, this was a wild one. This man, he ran for a few minutes before he made his next move. So you can see right here, moments later, he came into contact with this woman who was walking her dog on the sidewalk. And that scuffle lasted for a few seconds. He ran across the street, attempted to carjack that vehicle, and then off the, to the next one. Yeah, and the star so it kept running into Ooh. a Starbucks here. Police evacuated the coffee shop. You can see customers running out here. About a minute later, that suspect was taken into custody. Officers brought him out in cuffs. He faces several charges. Well, three people are still in the hospital after the L.A. County Sheriff's helicopter crashed and all six people were hurt. Yeah, the chopper went down near Highway 39 near the San Gabriel Dam and was very close to rolling over the edge of the 200-foot drop to the waterline in San Gabriel Reservoir. Kekwanai's Rick Monsonez is in Azusa with our coverage tonight. Investigators.